It's a beautiful brand new day. Welcome to Gossips 24. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon. So right about now, there's a coup d'etat in Guinea, Conakry. Now, for most of you who don't know, Guinea, Conakry is a country in West Africa. Now, there are four Guineas in Africa. We have Guinea, Conakry, which is the French Guinea. We have Equatorial Guinea, which is the Spanish Guinea. And we have Guinea-Bissau, which is the Portuguese Guinea. And we have the Papua Guinea. Papua New Guinea, I don't know where that one comes from. But this coup d'etat is currently happening uh, inside um, Equatorial, um, Guinea Conakry, sorry, not Equatorial Guinea, Guinea Conakry. They confuse me a lot, Guinea Conakry. Now, Guinea Conakry is a coastal country in West Africa. Now, their president, Alpha Conde, has been overthrown by the leader of the special forces of the Guinea military. Now, I have to get to his name because his name is quite confusing so his name is general mamandi uh, general mamandi domboya his name is general mamandi domboya now general mamandi domboya and his uh, military men stormed the presidential palace at guinea conakry to arrest president alpha conde now for most of you don't know alpha conde alpha conde started off as a democratic activist way back in 1993 fighting for democracy and all that he lost the election from 1993 all the way to 2010 where, um, where he was finally elected as president now prior to his election alpha um Kondi promised the people president alpha Kondi, who is who has currently been arrested by the special forces of the Gu guinea military um, promised the people that he was going to enforce reforms. He was going to make sure that there were reforms, constitutional reforms that would protect the interest of Guineans. Now, after so many promises, he was elected in 2010. The people were waiting for Alpha Condi to go by his words, to deliver on his promise. However, Alpha Condi and his own son disappointed the people of Guinea. How did they disappoint them? Now, when you read Alpha Condi's profile on Wikipedia, it talks a lot, it speaks a lot about how corrupt Alpha Condi was, um, especially in the mining sector, how he signed a deal worth over 10 million US dollars, all in his interest, to give out the rights um, of a, a mining field to a particular mining company. The profile is there on Wikipedia. You can just go there and go and check it out. So, he won the election in 2010, but in 2013, he rigged the election to become president. Now, um, again, as if 2013 was not enough, in 2015, again, in 2015, um, I want us to be sure, okay, because the, in 2015, there was another election and Alpha Condi rigged that election as well. In fact, even in 2013, the election that was held, the UN and the EU representatives had to intervene to make sure that uh, the opposition um, who are not happy with the election ele uh, the results or the outcome of the election used legal means to address the issue or to settle the dispute so there's no bloodshed and all that uh, so in 2015 there was another election and alpha Condi won that election as well now he was supposed to be um to contest for just two terms okay just two terms however he changed the constitution permitting him to contest again so there was an election okay there was another election in 2020 where he rigged the election and won making him president for more than 10 good years now he was in his 11th year and in the 11th year the people of guinea claim they've had enough They've had enough of a democratic activist now becoming a dictator, now using the constitution to, how do you call it, um, influence his own personal gains, using the constitution to drive wealth to his own personal pocket. Okay, to his own pocket. To seek his personal interests, using the constitution, twisting the arms of the constitution to suit himself. Now, there has been um, several assassination attempts on uh, Alpha Kundi and all has not been successful. They've proven futile. But this particular one was unexpected. Okay, this particular coup d'etat from um, General, uh, from Colonel um, Mamadi Domboya was unexpected. It was one that no one expected um, any coup d'etat of the sort to happen. So let's go to Twitter. Okay, let's go to Twitter and take some. Um, 
some live reactions. Let's go to Twitter and take some live reactions from what people are saying about this cool guitar. Now, surprisingly, there's a twist to this whole thing. You know, normally when cool guitars um, happen in countries, you're supposed to see the citizens um, living in fright or and um, being disappointed. I, I, I believe you understand what I'm saying. I mean, there's supposed to be campaigns um, against the coup, seeking democracy and all that. But this time around, it's a whole different story. It appears the citizens themselves are happy. Mamadia and his people have taken over power from Alpha Condi. It seems the people are even happy that there is a coup d'etat in Guinea. It, I don't know. It's as if the people were praying for coup to happen in Guinea because the kind of celebrations that are coming here and there i mean it's 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 mind-blowing it's unexpected because normally when cults happen you know the citizens begin to live in fear the fear and um, there'll be destruction there'll be chaos here and there but no this case in guinea Conakry is very different the citizens are jubilating with the military the citizens are celebrating they've come out in their numbers celebrating that someone has finally taken a bold step to bring sanity to governors in guinea so let's go straight to um what's what is happening in guinea okay what happened and what is happening in guinea so i just gave you the summary of how the whole thing um started and all that but let's take some live reactions from twitter I like giving you live reactions, you know. You know I like giving you live reactions. So that um, we don't miss anything. So that we don't miss anything. So there you have it on Twitter, right on your screen. Reactions coming from Guinea. Okay, so this is coming from Sawamiye. She says, hmm, could be that at this time. Sawamiye is a, um, a broadcaster and a presenter in Ghana. So if you're watching this outside Ghana, just know who Sawabi is. So uh, this is a, this is who just took over in Guinea, uh, detaining the president and freezing the constant. Okay, commander of the country special forces. I got that right earlier. So this is how the coup went under way. There were two hours straight of gunshots around the presidential palace. No one, no one tried to hustle tussle the military force no one did that and they allowed them to capture the president okay so this was a, a coup attempt is underway in guinea special forces rebels are already inside the presidential palace they're already inside the presidential palace the president has been um, seems to be arrested and soldiers are taking pictures of him so that's what's happening now the sad story is that Morocco's national team is currently in Guinea waiting to play the World Cup qualifiers. And Akraf Hakimi, who is um, a defender who plays for PSG Paris Saint Germain, I mean, a Real Madrid boy who went to Inter Milan, now has ended up at PSG, is among that squad that's currently in Guinea. And um, General Mamadi has said that no flights leaving and coming to Guinea. No flights will be leaving and coming to Guinea. So it means Hakimi cannot move out of Guinea. I don't know how that's going to be possible, but that's the situation right now. So for the football events, that's what's happening. So they say, congratulations, Guinea. Um, one more dictator down. By the way, I had um, that, I heard that the UPDF was deployed here to protect the president. I don't know what that means, but uh, I don't know what that means. So he says, see how citizens of their country, they jubilate. You are here doing pray for gain. Yes, people are writing pray for gain all over social media. But here you have it. Okay, then you can see. So you see it for yourself. They are jubilating. They don't even care. About the president, how the president how they going to they are jubilating that finally someone has decided to bring sanity to the governors in Guinea. And I, I don't know. So military takes over and addresses the nation on national television. Yes, they address the nation. He was bold enough to come and address the nation. Look, we are freezing the constitution, we are bringing it to halt 
all parliamentary proceedings and whatever you guys are doing you are taking over the country you are taking over the country and and that's that's so this one says life is up today and down tomorrow see president alpha kundi of guinea looking very helpless in front of rebel troops who overthrew him minutes ago and this is the president earlier you know african leaders they like that thing enjoying waves and all that but when it comes to action they, they most of them like it most of african leaders most of the african leaders start off very good as um democratic activists but immediately they see the money they see the resources and then they become greedy that's the that an example is alpha Kondi. look at him and now this is alpha Kondi, surrounded by military men from the special forces of guinea Conakry. we hope for the best let's take some more reactions so they said breaking news the coup d'etat uh there's a coup d'etat underway in guinea the president has been placed um, and the house arrest by the military. I think the president is being whisked to a different location. This internet will not allow us to enjoy in peace. So, yeah, those are the photos of the president um, in the company of the military, the special forces. So he says, Guinea, stay indoors and protect yourself. The government of Guinea has been overthrown by the military. All sea, all air, and land borders are all closed. So just as I said, they've closed all sea, air, and land borders. No one comes in, no one leaves Guinea. So Akra Fakimi cannot leave Guinea. Uh, um, so far as this is concerned. Okay. So look at the citizens still jubilating. Guinea Conakry. Yeah, freedom. I don't know, but it's, it appears they needed the freedom. They needed some sort of freedom and um, General Mamadi, I hope I got the name right this time around, has given them that freedom. I hope he, he becomes as democratic. He becomes very transparent without corruption. Okay, he shouldn't repeat the mistakes of Alpha Conde. If not, he will be um, what an African leader has always been. Start with democracy, end up as a... Uh, as, as, as a dictator, just being corrupt. African leaders are so corrupt. Most of them are corrupt. Not to my way. A lot of them are corrupt. A lot of African leaders are corrupt. And right now, when you go to Guinea, they are jubilating because there is a coup d'etat, which is not always the case. Mostly, citizens are concerned about their businesses, whether there are going to be loss of lives. But no. These guys are rolling and jubilating with the military. And you can see that um, they are in tangent with whatever the military is doing to the president, Alpha Conde, who has currently been overthrown. Now he's no longer the president. He's the ex-president or former president of Guinea Conakry. And that's the updates coming to you right here on Gossip 24. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. It's Gossip24.com and Gossip24TV. Once again, we are out.